Beautiful November's day and I'm down on the banks of the Grand Union Canal. Fished last night with Matt, done an overnighter and we had a, a, we had a bit of a result for November. It was really, really cold this morning, there was ice on the ground but we managed to nick a couple of fish. Just done an overnighter on the Grand Union Canal, managed to have a couple of fish, it's a bit of a result. Something we do quite a bit, isn't it? Yeah, every year we normally try and fit in a couple of winter sessions. Um, fish aren't massive but it's great sport. You know, you can always come and get a bite, beautiful surroundings, peace and quiet. Some cracking fish. Let's try and get a bigger one. Let's yeah. get them back. We often come down the canal. Uh, you know, it's quite unique in, in, its, in its form that you can sort of walk for miles and miles and miles and places look very similar or you can find areas that look particularly different. All of them hold carp and you can sort of, not guarantee a bite, but you can come down here and if you sort of use your, use your sort of local knowledge of the area and look for those likely looking spots, a little bit of good quality bait, you can get a few bites. Last night we got here quite late. And we've come to an area on the Luton ticket. Uh, it's a spot we've fished before and it's done some quite nice fish up to sort of low 20s for us. Uh, we come down last night, about four or five o'clock just as it was getting dark uh, and found an area that's quite a long walk from anywhere else. You've got some really good overhangs, big willows, lots of brambles protruding from the far bank and we flicked out a couple of rods each. Uh, around sort of midnight we started to get a few liners and uh, sort of the first fish came around one o'clock in the morning and a couple thereafter. All my bites last night came on the amber strawberry. Uh, it's a bait I've used a lot on the canal. I think one, it's white. You know, I think the fish see white with regards to food quite a lot. People throwing bread off boats, dog walkers, kids down feeding the birds and stuff. So I think it's a, it's a colour they associate with food. Uh, and the amber strawberry is just a proven bait. You know, I've, I've not just used it through the winter months, but also through the summer as well. And we consistently catch well on the amber to the point where. I've experimented with a lot of other baits and I've even fished sort of a little tootie last night and, and stuff and you just, you, these, this is what the bites come on. Rigs are nice and simple, I've uh, got a critically balanced uh, rig here with a, a chop on the top which just lets it all sit really really slowly down on top of the silt and any debris. Uh, and the other bait is, uh, other rig is a bottom bait rig uh, with a twister. Both the rigs, I've been fishing little sticks, in the sticks I've got crumbed up amber strawberry boilies, a very small amount of salmon fry crumb and the odd sort of tiny halibut pellet. Uh, and you can just pull those right down in over the hook uh, and that allows you to sort of cast out and near those sort of overhanging trees and brambles. If you do catch on one, you know, nine times out of ten it lands nicely and you can just pull back and straighten everything out. Now that the sun's picked up though, I've changed tactics a little bit and I've actually gone on small zigs. Uh, when I say short, I mean just a few inches, eight or so inches. Uh, and I've been sort of fishing these again over to the other side and I've been pole cupping across a, a sloppy spod mix made up of some spod cloud, again some small salmon fry crumb and a little bit of, uh, of oil just to give it that sort of added attraction in the swim. Just to sum up, you know, if you are thinking of giving the canal a go, it really is worth it. Is that rod? <laughs> Thumbs up. Right result. <laughs> right, well, it's just about to finish a, a piece to film and I've had a single bleep uh, and I've had a, a cracking little uh, low double common. You know, it is sort of single bait fishing with fishing up, up tight to bushes and stuff, so you've got to pay attention to every sort of indication you get on the bite alarm. Uh, I've gone up there and the tip's just bent round and yeah, I've had a cracking fish. Again, on the amber strawberry, you really can't fail on this stuff. 
Um, if you notice here, the fish's mouths, they're quite unique. They've got these real big forward protruding lips and I think they've evolved like this over the sort of 10, 15, 20 years they've been in here to sort of feed on the crayfish. Um, there really is a high population of crayfish in here. Um, you know, I'm using boilies uh, just because I can just about get away with it because the sort of water temperatures are cold enough, the crays aren't that active. In the summer months I'm using the mutant baits, but whatever I'm using, it's sort of the amber strawberry flavour. They absolutely love it. So let's have a look at this one. Cracking little common. It's nearly the end of November. You just can't beat a bit of canal carp in. I think me and Matt are going to go and find another stretch tonight and see if we can find any of the bigger fish. So give it a go yourself, get down your local canal and see if you can catch a fish or two this winter.